am Lisa Emery, and I'm an assistant professor at Appalachian State University, and I presented my research at the 23rd annual uh, APS conference in Washington, D.C. Uh, this study is a little bit of a departure for me because most of my research is on aging and emotion regulation and memory. Um, this study is about young adults, and we were interested in uh, the relationship between neuroticism and people's recall and memories of uh, events from their own lives. So we had people do a fairly standard autobiographical memory test where they were given two words, so they might see the word tree, for example, um, and they were asked to recall an event from their own life, and then rate it on several different dimensions. And particularly important for this study, we asked people to rate the memory for how it felt when it happened, um, or at least how they remembered how it felt, um, and how they feel now recalling the memory. And what we found was that um, neuroticism um, interacted with people with the valence of the memory. So what that means is um, when people were recalling memories that they said were positive when they would happen, um, people who were highly neurotic rated those memories as being a little bit less positive now. So in other words, they recalled the positive memory, said they were positive then, um, but they weren't evoking the same kinds of positive feelings now as they were in people who were low in neuroticism. And we think this is important because people who are neurotic are more prone to depression, they're more prone to negative mood, and so this may be one mechanism by which that happens. Either the positive feelings from their own personal life fade over time, or they're unable to use positive memories from their own lives uh, to boost their mood now. Um, and I think I'm supposed to say a little bit about what I've enjoyed so far at the, co at the conference. Um, and I have to say that um, as an uh, early career faculty member, I went to a panel um, about uh, translational research opportunities at NIH, uh, the first day that I was here, um, and it's always exciting to hear about funding opportunities, and particularly uh, research that would be uh, applying your research to real-world kinds of problems.